I don't think you care about everyone like that. Look at that. Look at the... Oh, God. Am I going to fight you? Yo, what up, everyone? It's Tyranitar at Tuba. Welcome back to Pokemon Moon. We're here in Heihei City. And if you go to the right, you'll make it to the Hano Grand Resort. This is the last spot we have to be in for this island. Look at that. There's a freaking Pelipper on the water. I want to get there. Oh, God. There's freaking people everywhere. So, yeah. Over there in the flag is where we got to go. These guys look like fishermen. This is probably that water spot we saw in the trailer. Dude, Hano Beach? Is this where you find those Pukumuku? God damn, this has to be. And I even recognize you. Glistening sweat. Slippery goo. The perfect time that keeps Hano Beach going. Pukumuku truckers are desperately needed. Won't you be a Pukumuku trucker? What's that? I'm one of the staff members responsible for keeping Hano Beach spotless for our guests. But Pukumuku sometimes wriggle up on our beach from the sea. I don't know why they do it, but we just can't leave them there. They shrivel up on the land, and that's not all. Our guests get grossed out seeing them, and sometimes even get hurt stepping on them. So we end up with no choice but to chuck those poor Pukumuku back into the sea. I'll explain the job to you. It's pretty easy. Dude, you guys said if you come to this place in the game, do this. You get so much money for it, and you can do it once per freaking day. Oh, God. She almost saw me. Puke? Oh, it's just milk. Yep, the little puddle. Oh, yeah. Let me chuck some more. Oh, you gotta love how you can just step into it when you can step into it i said this earlier but when you can step into it it adds more depth it makes sense as how the pukumuku can even climb out oh there's a zyger over there don't think i didn't see you what are you doing on your stout land sniffing for things come on stout land we'll get this beach pristine in no time and a bag of full new treasures too once we find the hidden items in the sand oh you know about that are there even any hidden items oh god there's none she freaking found them all already oh here's a pukumuku can I chuck it from up here? <laughs> I guess I, I bet you Stoutland did it with its freaking mouth. Any more? I know there's some up here. There has to be. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Some spots. Dude, I wonder if you can find Palo Sand here. Palo Sand's that freaking sand Pokemon. It moves like a little Grimer. Let's head back and see what he's saying. Hey, dude. Hey there, part timer. You've gotten four, which means there's two more. There's freaking two more. Oh, here's one. That's camouflaged. God, dude, I would love this job. This is the kind of job you'd get in the Pokemon world. In freaking real life, you're a freaking accountant. Okay. Let's see if it's a Palo Sand or not. This is how a Palo Sand trap looks like. They. What are you doing in the in the sand? You're gonna die. It's in the sand, just freaking Luna the Clowning. Definitely don't need that star, you. There has to be a way to catch Palo Sand in this too, because the artwork for Palo Sand shows it just. Oh god, there's another one, god damn it. The artwork for Palo Sand shows it trying to capture a Pokemon in like a swirly trap. So it has to be like that. Alright, it has to be camouflaging right here on the shore. There we go. A freaking Pukumuku. What you doing there, dude? There we go, dude. Give me my money. Hey, dude, I got all the Pukumuku. Good job, part-timer. You've got every last Pukumuku that was stranded on the beach back into the sea. Now they're safe back where they should be, and the beach is safe for our guests. You're a real good worker, you know. You have a real knack for Pukumuku chucking, and I've got your pay ready for you right here. Take it, you've earned it. A 20G check. So much money. You can do this once per day. Pukumuku are one of the most famous of all the Alolan Pokemon, but a lot of tourists from other regions don't understand their appeal. It's a real shame. But no matter how many times we toss them back into the sea, they come wriggling back up the next morning like clockwork. Feel free to come back in and help. Yep, I will, dude. All right, so up here is where all those freaking Palosan traps are. Are there really... Oh, see, there's something. A hard scale. Well, that's great. That makes sense. A freaking shoreline. So yeah, let's head up here to the actual resort and in there. Hey, peaceful. I feel so peaceful. Oh, look at that. It's Aether. This is where he told us to meet him. So you've come at last. Ah, but forgive me. I've yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. Okay, Faba. I told you before I would show you some place astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It's an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protection of Pokemon. Of course I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I'll prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth with the tour of Aether Paradise. You'll come, won't you? I guess so, dude, Faba. Good, good, then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too! God damn it, everyone's listening on me. Oh? Even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. 
As a kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to the island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any. I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. <laughs> Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aether is developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Then let's meet up at Mali Garden. Yup, it's goodbye, Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Then let us enjoy the adventure upon the grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say, the fairy. And secretly, Oak is always with us. Look at this guy. Oh, damn. These guys got their own Aether freaking boats. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Damo? Hell no! What? You got like a bunch of Pokemon holding it up like Lapras? You know, I could count on you to react. Ho! Is he talking to me? Ho! I can't wait to actually see inside Aether Paradise for myself. Who, me too? Hey, don't leave me, dude. I, I want to come in. It's like a little SSN. Look, you can enter and fight some trainers. Am I going to actually... Oh. Look at that. Dot, dot, dot. Look, we are going to the artificial island. Aether Paradise. <laughs> you got freaking Akala Island, Ula Ula Island, and in the middle just Aether Paradise. Which is ironic because I feel like an actual island would be a paradise. Aether Paradise. Hey, welcome back. Look at that meow that's performing. And there's another one of those freaking employees in the back. Oh no, that's Suda Wudo. What are you doing to it? Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. What are you shaking for? What is going on here? This is creepy. Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all of the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our team work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise, a jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. God damn! These guys have the ability to stop you from using your balls! Okay. Oh look, it's another Aether person. Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you! What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes! Branch Manager Faba. He's just a branch manager. Now we must go speak with the president about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around, and then take them to meet the president as well. The president? I'd love to meet the president, dude. This is a giant white house. And up they go too. Phew! And what's your name? Welcome to Aether Paradise, Damal and Howe. My name is Wick. Weak? I'm gonna say Weak. Alola, nice to meet you. Look at that, I know my words. Oh god, he's tripping out. Wait, you know who we are. How'd you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course, I heard about how you help protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. Oh yeah, this freaking triangular elevator. This is where all the money goes into. Triangle, triangular elevators. Shall we zip right up there? Yep, zip. Just a long zipper. This music is so, so unsettling. Oh my god, look at that Oranguru! It just, it, Oranguru reminds me of freaking Donkey Kong. And the past semen reminds me of Diddy Kong. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of there at the reception desk there if they need it. What up, Pikachu? This place is cool. Damo, you and Howe are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. How the hell do you know? Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join the Island Challenge once I turned 11. Because someday, I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. How? How lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to have a journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you're hardly just children anymore. Trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Thamo, how? Would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? We'll zip right up. Well, let's zip again. Goddamn. Though I don't know if he zipped in the first place. This is the top floor. 
This is a paradise. This is an artificial tropical... Hey, it's a paradise. This is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Wow. We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here, and we also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. Oh, God. Corsola? Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Okay, y'all are doing the right thing. Yeah, my grandpa is always saying that nature has got its cruel side, sure as it gives us a blessing. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Oh yes, it's very easy. Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much humans can try to affect that, can it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome, but why'd you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? This is a branch? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she should be here in the conservation area now. Lusamine, I want to meet you. And I want to tell you more about Faba. You might not have seen his other side. Wait, so... Oh, here we go. Sudowoodo, get out of the way. I will use Waterium. Sudowoodo is a Pokemon that pretends to be a tree in order to protect itself. But wouldn't it be better to disguise itself as the kind of tree you actually see here in Alola? That's actually true. It'd be hilarious if you go to another region and you see trees that look like Sudowoodo. It's like, oh, this is where you're from. Look at that. There's some leaders. They're like route leaders that give you items when you beat them. Hey, what up? This guy's a mascot? When Pokemon evolve, their appearance can change quite a lot. Some Pokemon can also change forms, which can change how they look in their stats. And then there's the regional variants, which are quite another thing altogether. Pokemon don't just change into regional variants like they might change forms. Of course they don't, dude. Starmie is known as the mysterious Pokemon. If it's really a star from the night sky appearing to us in a different form, then it's like a Pokemon is just using us humans and making us take care of it. Don't you ever imagine things like that? I do. God damn! The concept that- Oh, hey, let's talk to these guys. The PC boxes were first developed by a guy in the Kanto region called Bill. Apparently, he's the real Pokemon maniac. Imagine using the same Pokemon in your boxes in battle again after hundreds of years. It's like a kind of time machine, isn't it? Are you trying to say Pokemon are immortal, like eternal, eternal youth? Pokemon have to age, right? You can't have like a 200 year old Charizard, can you? Look, in, look at that, you're taking care of Grimer. Dude, when you have Pokemon like Grimer, let's see if she talks about it. Regional variants. It can all seem a bit complicated, but think about it like this. If you visit a tropical region, you can get a tan, right? Isn't it something like that? Oh, I thought you were gonna explain about Grimer. Grimer in this region is a lot more toxic. It's like, you don't want to touch it. It's way worse than Encanto. And it's because people use it to eat their garbage and all that. So that's who these guys are protecting it from. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah! Look at her triangle hair. Beautiful. You must be Tamil and Howe. Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I'm the president of the foundation, but please, just call me Lusamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad that there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. And that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Lusamine. I don't know how you do all this. You're, like, not even much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. You are? Goddamn. I don't think she is. She's lying. Wait, what? Dude, that stare. Oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know. And how? Your style is a bit wanting, hmm? I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick out a smashing outfit. L like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look, except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. Oh, damn. Look all the Pokemon reacting. Even Grammar's like, what? Professor Oak is secretly watching. That tremor, did something happen on the lower floors? Better not have. I'm freaking three floors up. Oh, God.
Dude, it was an ultra wormhole. What the hell are you leaving me to think about? Did you come from another world? Brr, brr, brr. Miss Lucimine, stand back. That thing's not right. You poor creature. I don't think you care about everyone like that. Look at that. Look at the... Oh, God. Am I going to fight you? Oh! Something appeared. Something's attacking me. Everyone's watching me. It went Super Saiyan God. It has its own Super Saiyan. What is this theme? Ultra Beast... Okay, okay, chill. I'm gonna kill you. I wanna kill you. Bloom Doom. You die right now. Vanishock. Don't, don't hurt me. Level 20 set. Yeah, that's not good. What are you, a poison type? A random Ultra Beast just appeared. Oh yeah, let's go. This is the first time we're using our Z-Power, by the way. Bloom Doom. Let's go. Let's do massive damage. But I'm actually kind of scared because this thing used a poison move. Oh god, it's half poison. It totally is half poison. And it's faster than me. It's gonna kill OVO with another Vanish Shock. Maybe I should switch into Drizzy. Let's outsmart this thing. Let's see, if it's half poison, what would its other typing be? Because Grass did half damage to it. Vanishock again, outsmarted you. Well, looks like you go down right here. Magnitude. Dude, I love this theme. The thing is, the Aether President sounds like she's seen these Pokemon before. And she believes in the whole other world stuff. The dimensional differences. Aw, oh, damn. No. Whoa. What? The unidentified creature disappeared. That is eerie. So, it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What? Miss Lucimine, did you say something? That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the Ultra Wormhole. It looked like it was suffering, like a pain to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I will save it, and I will love it. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Dude, things just escalated. Weak. These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to the next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. Wait, no, I want to stay here longer. I will go to check that none of our poor resident Pokemon come to any harm. And I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet. The protection of the Ultra Beasts. Dude, protect Pokemon first, man. I'll see the two of you to Ula Ula Island then. Yeah, sure, dude. Well, peace. I'm gonna take this triangular elevator down. I can't believe we're getting so close with everyone. We freaking met the president of Aether. You know how freaking popular she is? Everyone wants that triangle here. And back on her freaking boat. I never thought I'd actually get to see an ultra wormhole in my life. We've got to tell Professor Burnett about this the next time we see her. I don't know if what happened should be rightly described as an accident, but... I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway, I was very glad to get to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some Melasidas for how? Aw, oh, damn. Can I get some? Yes, big Melasidas. Awesome. Isn't it crazy how Melasidas taste even better when you eat them with someone else? Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, Thamo, a TM for the move Psychic. That's my Melasida. With the concept they're sharing with love and all that, probably related to Z-Power, a certain power between Pokemon. I hope both of you have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. Okay, peace, Weak. We will. Thanks, Mrs. Weak. <laughs> or Miss Weak. She ain't married yet. Dude, no one's married here. You know what? 
Lusamine is fishy because she said she's 41. Ho! Oh, my heart's still kind of racing, you know? Yeah, from the Ultra Beast. The Ultra Wormhole is real, and Ultra Beasts are real too. Oh god, she's listening. Are you spreading the news? I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island too. Look at that, you can just see through. That is epic, these cutscenes. We're gonna need to get all the energy we can. Time to dig in. I want... Look at that, it has a Pokeball stamp on it. Or, that's just the packaging. You want a Melosida? I'm just gonna eat my disc over here. Ah, so good! Shoot, I already ate the whole thing! But that's what she's supposed to do. Wow! From 1 to 2 to 5 to 3, Ula Ula Island. Dude, this game escalated way beyond everything. What the hell just happened? We came to this island, met these people, Ultra Wormhole, and now we're here. Pelopers! It's a little, little tower. Golden tower. Now this is a peaceful freaking village. Ula Ula just sounds peaceful. Land ahoy! All right, terra firma underfoot again. Good work, freaking how? Good use of wording. Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place from Mele Mele or Akula, huh? I've got an idea, Thamo. Let's have a battle. Sure, let's have a battle. Fine. I want my Pokemon to get a deep breath of the fresh new air. Don't worry. I'll make sure both our teams are in fighting form first. Maybe I should have declined. This is looking too good. I'm exhausted, okay? Maybe my Pokemon are fine, but I'm mentally exhausted from that Ultra Beast. Pokemon Trainer, how? Oh, you got three Pokemon now. He evolved his Pikachu into an Alolan Raichu. Hey, that's badass. You know, I may just have to beat you up, dude. Let's just go for the Razor Leaf. Let's see how much this does. Electro Ball, okay. So, Darchix is pretty slow, so this might do quite a bit. Damn, that's crazy. Oh god, you're right, you sucks. Oh, I just got my crits again. Damn! Razor Leaf has that high crit ratio. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Did I say Electric Fairy? Even I fell for it. Raichu is Electric Psychic. It looks fairy because it's got those Audino ears, but it is psychic. Okay, Flareon. It gets the Eevee evolution to counter your typing. That's interesting. Wow, that's amazing. So I wonder if he also got an egg from the daycare. I'm not sure if we saw him at the daycare, but that actually makes sense. He gets the same egg and then he evolves it to... It's almost like the monkey. He gets the better Pokemon against you after. Look at that boiling water. It's kind of... It kind of makes sense. It kind of doesn't. Should a fire type Pokemon be able to withstand boiling water? Shouldn't it be its cup of tea? Like, oh, boiling water. Thanks, man. This I can drink. Like it showers in boiling water. That makes sense. But not for you. Look at all that experience. And here we go, Brion. Okay, we're gonna finish this with our Z move. Look at this. Let's see what level his Pokemon is. Damn, dude, somehow he's just like around the same level as us. That's epic. Z power! Bloom Doom! It's always crazy how you have to choose a move after Z power. You can have multiple Z moves, but I don't know how it works. Oh, you are so dead, dude. You're not even going to be able to use yours. Look at that. Every freaking flower of the rainbow. Oh, that's painful. That looks... It doesn't look as painful as something like Frenzy Plant. But it still looks painful. Oh, wow. That's it? Bah! I had my breath held that whole battle. Don't make up excuses. Maybe he did. Unless, like, what if in the background he wasn't moving as much? Wow, that battle took my breath away. I can't breathe the fresh air that way. We we're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Mally Garden? Why do you want us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find it when we get there, right? Guess we will, how... Oh, God, look, Rodom. We've made it to Ula Ula Island now, big boy. This means a whole new island, Pokedex. It's all up to you what new Pokemon you'll uncover here, Thamel. So, now that we're in Ula Ula, there's actually one place we have to go to related to the road on Pokedex, and it's where Dexio and Cena are. They were actually telling us that we can talk to them about having 10% of Zygarde's cells that are scattered around. Anyways, guys, that's all time for this episode. This episode was all over the place. We went to Aether Foundation, and we did a lot of stuff. But be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.